there are probably many other causes that I haven't mentioned that could lead to higher blood pressure. So it is your job to find out exactly what is causing your high blood pressure. And also it is important that you understand why they lead to higher blood pressure. One very important point that you have to be aware of is that normally the causes of high blood pressure, they don't just come as a single cause. There's no a combination of causes that lead to higher blood pressure. Let's say you are pregnant, you have asthma, you smoke, and you you have a cold. Then it's a combination of causes that combine together that increase your blood pressure. So when that happens, it is very bad news for your blood pressure and also it's very bad news for your unborn baby. Or let's say if you are in your teens or in your early twenties and you suffer from asthma or cystic fibrosis and depression and obesity then that is very bad news for your blood pressure because you are at much greater risk at developing heart disease as well as other serious medical conditions. Your job now is to find out what are causing your high blood pressure, go and see your doctor, do some research and maybe get back together. I have set up a website where people with the same problem like high blood pressure can come together and share ideas and maybe we can discuss about some solution and help one another.